Okay, once again, I have to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations, you Aki Master, that's pushing this world in truth and sincerity. Amen. Once again, on the highways and the byways, pushing this world, man. In season, out of season. Right now, we out of season, man. So, what we're going to do, we're going to continue to push the world, man. Wholeheartedly give you the 100% truth, man. I'm here to let you, Aki, know that's the said that we're approaching the end of Esau's kingdom. The end of Esau's age, the age of Esau, the eon of Esau. We're approaching that age where Esau is crumbling, his empire is crumbling, and the Most High, pursuant to 2nd Ezra 6, 7 on down to 9, is going to set up Jacob. Because Esau is the end of this world, and Jacob is that which followeth, man. So we know these things, man. So what we do, we make sure our calling and election is sure by going out there in the highways and the byways, pushing that work, man. Going out in the highways and the byways, teaching the, the hope for the elect, putting videos up week in and week out, man. Edifying the hope for the elect, man, because these work, because these videos go throughout the four corners of the earth, man. These videos that we put up on the unicorn, which is the internet, go out through the four corners of the planet Earth, man. And all the Akim that's a part of the elect is being edified, man. Through the grace and the mercy and the power of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. So I'm here to comfort you, Akim, man, with these scriptures, man. And I got scriptures to back it up, man. This is Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the first verse. It says, Comfort ye. Comfort ye, my people, save your power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. And that's what I'm here to do, man. I'm here to comfort y'all with these scriptures to let you I can know that our punishment, our iniquities came to an abrupt end, and the most high is about to turn back our captivity. Yahweh why Yahweh Shah is about to come deliver his, his elect, set up his kingdom with Yahweh Shah and the, the Yahweh Shah, King David, and the apostles, man, being the heads, man. See, our warfare is accomplished, man. All our iniquities, all our sins, that, and, and, and all these nations that had their hand in putting us in slavery and afflicting us, they're going to pay for it, man. Why? Because all these nations is going to be enslaved for a thousand years, but the most is going to turn back all these nations' captivity, except Esau, the so-called white man. So that's confident scriptures right there, man. The comfort you out came out there, man. Like it says in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the first verse, it says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, except, except your power, your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is parted. See, the Most High has parted the iniquity of the one-third, which is the hope for the elect, which is the governing body of the sons of Israel, man, with Yahweh Shah being the head, man. Our iniquity, which is sin, has been parted, man. Because we wholeheartedly seek Yahweh by Yahweh Shah, man. Deep within that spirit, I'm about to say I'm a part of the elect, man. Baba Kasha, I'm a part of the elect, man. But I'm out here in the highways and the byways, man. Doing the work of the Most High, man. I'm about to say I'm comforting y'all with these words, man, because hey, I myself need salvation. I myself needs deliverance, man. And I'm waiting for Yahweh, why Yahweh shall to come back with the holy angels to deliver us, man. I brought this out, like I said, I'll be a part of the elect, man. So I'm speaking comfortable words to y'all, man. This is um back in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 2. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, 
that her iniquity is pardoned for it says for she have received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins man hey man we received a, a double portion of punishment from Yahweh Yahweh Shah man what was that all these nations from the Assyrians the Babylonians the Medio Persians the Greeks the Romans they all had us they all had us enslaved under subjection to their rule, man. Even to this very day, man. We're in the Renaissance era of Esau, the so-called white man, and his rulership, the end of his rulership, and guess what? We in slavery, man. We got social security numbers, we got birth certificates, driver's licenses, man. All these things we have to let us know we are slaves and we are subject unto Esau. But I'm here to let you know. I can be sincere that our warfare is accomplished. Yahweh Yahweh Shah is about to visit this world which he made and snatch Esau out of his Esau Edom, the so-called white man, out of his rulership, pursuant to second edge, the sixth chapter, the seventh verse on down to the ninth verse, man. Esau is about to be snatched out of his rulership, the so-called white man. For he for Esau is the end of this world. And Jacob, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, on down to Issachar, is that what's following, man. We're going to have the kingdom, man. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. Where there's no sin, there's no death, man. For the Most High, Yahweh, is going to program us not to go off, man. Our inward parts, man. Laws, statutes, and commandments is going to be programmed in us not to go off, man. Where there's no sin, there's no man. Immortality. And that's promised to the sons of Israel that's a part of the elect, man. And that's comfortable words. Speaking comfortable words, man, to you, I came out there that's going through all kind of pains, frustration. Can't get a woman, the woman bucking up against you, losing the joy, the loss of your job, and anything that come with being in Esau's kingdom, man. It says, Hey man, I'ma read it again. Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the first verse. Come for ye. Comfort ye, my people, save your power. And that's what I'm here to do, man. To comfort you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that have came back into the fold, that know who you are. Your true nationality, you're Israelites from your prospective tribes. From Judah, Benjamin, and Levi on down to Issachar, man. I'm here to comfort you, to let you know that Yahweh have heard your prayer. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to deliver you. We're at the end of the age of Esau, the so called white man, and his rulership is crumbling. Look at his economy. Look at the infrastructure of America. All these nations are starting to hate America, man, for all the atrocities that are being committed by these goddamn crackers, man. So, just hold on, keep your faith, man. Keep on reading these scriptures, keep on studying. Because our warfare is accomplished, man. I'm going to read it. It says, speak, verse 2, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before, before it's, a, it's a place, man. Now, Jerusalem represents you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. That's a part of Israel, man. We are Israel, man. Yasharala. Bunyam Yasharala, sons of Israel, man. We are Israel, man. And Yahweh is going to deliver his elect, man. Through his son Yahweh Shah, man. And the holy angels, man. There shall be deliverance and destruction, man. Then the time will begin to visit the world which he made. Make no mistakes about it, man. There shall be deliverance, man. And there shall be an end of Esau's kingdom. 
Look at all the kingdoms of old. All these kingdoms that existed before Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom, have came to an abrupt end. Started with the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Medio Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, even during the time of the of the Dark Ages, man. All these nations came to an abrupt end, man. Now we're in the time of the Renaissance, the rebirth of Esau. For a little season, Esau is ruling. But that season is coming to an abrupt end, just like all these other nations came to an abrupt end. At the last leg of the Roman Empire, man. We're at the last leg of the Roman Empire. You better believe the Most High is going to deliver his elect, man. The sons of Israel shall be delivered out of this hellhole that they call America, which is Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, man. This is comfortable words that I'm speaking to you, Akim, out there that's a sin, man. Isaiah, the first one down, man. It says, um, it says, um, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. What's her warfare? Being under subjection unto these, these Edomites, man. And these other nations, man, that treat us like we ain't shit, man. We're at the bottom of the barrel. It's raising up the tabernacles of David. Which have been falling. And the Most High has raised up the tabernacles of David. I brought this, I myself was a part of the tabernacles of David, man. I hope to the Most High, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, that I'm a part of the tabernacles of David, man. I brought this, I'm a part of the elect. It says, um, her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received. Of the Most High, it's like the first she ever received of the Lord's hand, double for all her sins, man. All the sins that we have committed from the time of the ancient up to now, man. Worshiping other idols, going off, eating pork, eating shrimp, being homosexuals, being lesbians. That's going off, man. Our sins have been pardoned, man. And guess what? The Most High is going to deliver us, man. Comfortable words, I'm speaking to you, I came out there, that's a sin. I'm going to cut it short. And with that, hey man, we're at the end of the year of prophecy, 2018. Who knows what's going to happen in 2019? Only the Lord Yahweh knows what's going to happen. And with that, I'm going to cut it short and give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaq, Radash. And double honors once again to the imposter elders of Great Millstone. Hey, Shalom Akia, we must out this bitch, man.